is up guys, Toka here. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. Um, the Nintendo Switch Indie Showcase is going live today uh, about, um, I think it's 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock uh, Standard Pacific Time, which is about 10 o'clock where I am. Um, and I thought I would videotape myself watching it to give you guys kind of a live reaction. Now, I'm not that excited for the indie games uh, themselves as it would be. Um, I, don't get me wrong, I love indie games. I love me some indie games. You know, Binding of Isaac, uh, all the other ones there are. Shovel Knight, Shovel Knight, amazing. Shovel Knight's amazing. Um, but it's for the Nintendo Switch, which comes out in like three days and uh, I am still super pumped for it if you guys checked out my video yesterday which you totally should I will put the link there right there there's the link click it watch it right now unless you already watched it in that case watch it again this is a showcase uh, showing where all the uh, indie games that are coming out for the Nintendo Switch I think maybe this year probably a little bit next year right now the launch lineup for the Nintendo Switch isn't that great I mean there's some great games on there you know Breath of the Wild we do have Binding of Isaac on there we do have uh, arms coming out pretty soon uh, one two switch looks pretty good I mean it's a party game if you're into party games um, but this is going to be a whole bunch of other games maybe like Shovel Knight into the Gungeon I am hoping for it I really want to play in Enter the Gungeon. Uh, everybody says it's awesome, but I can't. We can't play it yet. Or I mean, I could. I have a PC, but I would love to play it on the uh, the Switch. Uh, this goes live in about I think 30 minutes, so I'm gonna have to wait. Oh my gosh. There's a live chat. Nintendo is the bomb. <laughs> Got him. Oh no! I just got all the new uh, Legend of Zelda amiibo. This is uh, this one. It's the 8 bit link. Uh, Zelda. Um. I don't know who that is. Fudge. Oh, it's starting. Oh, fudge. Fudge. Oh, it's starting. Fudge. Oh, it's starting. Oh my gosh, okay. Steamworld Dig 2. Steamworld Dig 2. Um, I didn't play the first one. Nintendo Switch, that's cool. I'm, I I was thinking about playing Steamworld Dig. Oh, it's so cool. Uh, I think I would pick this up, because I was actually wanting to play Steamworld Dig for a little bit. Yeah, and dig deep, okay. Really deep. <laughs> Adventure dig awaits deep. this summer. Really deep. Steamworld Dig an example of what Nintendo Switch was built for. Amazing content that puts smiles on faces. Our team hey, been the smile on my face! I love the Nintendo Switch! I mean, I hope I will. To secure a constant flow of this is the magic of independent development. What is that? Efforts I want that, the snake one. Oh, yes! Yeah, Shovel Knight! It's our mission to prioritize I'm excited. of content. Oh, that's a racing one. On Nintendo Switch. That's a racing that one. Okay. Today, you'll see some incredible new games that we've yeah, created from see. this community. I want to see incredible new games. That's me! Including a few surprises. Starting with our friends surprises. They're surprises. I love that. Like, click. Okay, is this the snake? No, you got Lily! Oh, I already knew that was on there though. I love you got Lily though. Yes, but when is it coming out? Because if it comes out the same time as the other ones, I'm getting it on the Switch. Like, there's no question about that. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Banjo Kazooie. One of my favorite games ever. Oh my goodness. This game is gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's got three heads. Oh, there's racing. Really? That would be really cool on the Nintendo Switch. You know, just play, you know, be like, sup, dude, you wanna play? I'm like, yeah, dude. And then you. Oh, I'm excited. 
Okay, just 2017. Edition. Overcooked. The ultimate arcade style couch cook off you didn't know you needed until huh. now. This smash hit looks That's actually looks kind of fun. Feature. The escapists. This Not heard of that either. Hugely round up oh, wait. Drop drop out co I played the first one. Players. I didn't Imagine like it that much. And three buddy, the what is platformer it? Goner. Goner. He's out to find a gift for oh, his that's own whale friend. Sorry, I love the art style future. of this. It's really cool. So it's like prepare to slay creatures, take down bosses, um, and of course, rack up combos. When the game launched first on Nintendo Switch as a timed exclusive with additional content that's tailored. Timed exclusive. That looks kind of like Super Metroid. There aren't any dates though. It's all HD just like this summer and stuff. Kingdom Two Crowns is a stirring oh. tale in which you, Ooh. the ruler, can bring about hope or despair depending on the choices you make. Okay. Will you stand with your people? People and bravely face the consequences. Hmm. Grab a friend and find out later this year with the debut of the new. That's pretty cool. I love it. <laughs> oh, Bishop Runner Three! Oh, I love that game. This is the first one. I love that. Oh, it's such a good game. Oh, what is that? Oh my goodness! I don't want to play this anymore. Run and gun. For a lot of players, these words harken back to an entire Enter the legacy of excellent action games. And no one knows that legacy better than Anti Creates, it, it's who brought us classic gun. franchises like and Mega Man and Azure Striker Gunvolt. Now they've turned their Enter attention the to the gaming legend. Say hello once again to Sophia the Third. Oh, it's been a while, okay, but finally okay. a new entry in the Blaster Master series will wow, be released cool. in the form of Blaster Master Zero. Blaster Master Zero. Blaster Master is really cool. Game, it's incredible scope or back. Side That's cool. That looks combat, super cool. Top down adventuring. And I love those games that look landscape. like the old NES, here uh, the Super NES games. games. Super cool. Look forward to a two player mode and some surprise cameos oh, when Blaster Master good. Zero launches March 9! Nintendo Switch and Nintendo 3DS. Yes! March 9. For okay. Penny Dewood, death had a strange She's so creepy. Child. Oh, is that he? Or, oh, ow. Well, <laughs> I did once temp in the kindergarten. From the oh! <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. HD Rumble! Yes! That's just I really want to play this. A seed. In it's world, a game about a seed? Unique upgrades. It's just a seed. Don't let the art style fool you. Pocket oh. Rumble is one deep 2D fighter. Yes! Fans of the genre will have a blast. Oh, that's so cool! Combat mechanics, while casual players oh, I've always to wanted to play fun, like a super old, control like 16-bit uh, fighter like this. Like a 2D anywhere, fighter. Anytime. I've and always wanted to do that. Do I've always. Joy -Con yes! For on the go comp. Oh, that's awesome! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I'm so excited for the Switch to come out. I can't even wait. I've never really been into RPGs, but I'll have to see how this is. I'll have to check it out. It looks just like Advance Wars, though, which everybody says is amazing. There have I'm playing that. Go check that out. Yeah. Local multiplayer experience is the thing I'm excited for Make the sure most. Man. That was awesome. That was really cool. Um, I am glad to know that there's gonna be a bunch of really cool games, like indie games, on the eShop. Uh, especially day one at launch. Cause you know, the only really game I think I'm gonna pick up is um, uh, Breath of the Wild. Which is mostly everybody. Maybe some people might get 1-2 Switch. I might even get 1-2 Switch, just cause it's a really cool party game to have. Uh, whenever people are, you know, coming over for a party. So, maybe actually, I, I think I'm gonna get it. Um, but I didn't advise like I was gonna get, but now there's other things I can get. I'm really excited for that one uh, fighting game. I think that was the thing I'm most excited from seeing that. Uh, Yuka and Laylee, I already knew about that, but that game, awesome. Shovel Knight, love that game. I'm definitely gonna pick that up. All right, so after I watched the indie showcase, I went online to check all the other indie games maybe they didn't uh, announce in the showcase, which is weird to me. Like, why would you have a showcase uh, showing all of your new indie games, but not show all of them, only show like, like a fifth of them. I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, Nintendo's weird, but awesome. Anyway, so I looked it up and there's so many more indie games, like so many awesome indie games that they didn't even announce. So I made a list of my top 10 indie games that are gonna come to the Nintendo Switch. And they're all coming out this year, if not in the next couple months, which is awesome. Number 10 is Hollow Knight. I've never heard of Hollow Knight, but I looked it up and I was blown away. It's basically like, like Bloodborne, <laughs> like a 2D Bloodborne, at least that's what it looks like. It looks hard, it looks kind of like a mix between Bloodborne, like think of Super Meat Boy in the style of Bloodborne, but with some more action RPG elements in there. That sounds 
Awesome, I am totally down for that. Number nine is Snake Pass. Snake Pass looks just like Octodad, but with a snake. Octodad is hilarious. The first time I played Octodad, I laughed so hard. I fell on the couch and I, I, I cried. I literally like, I was crying how hard I was laughing. That game is an amazing game, it's hilarious. And Snake Pass, if it is anything like that game, I am totally down. It looks like, it's like a puzzle game um, where you control a snake, but it's hard to control the snake because you know it's a snake. You, and you have to like wrap around things and just figure out puzzles from there. <laughs> it sounds so fun. Number eight is blind, blind, the blinding of, <laughs> The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Now, the reason why this is on my list is because I've never played The Binding of Isaac. Now, don't don't get mad. Don't rage rage at me in the comments or anything. I just I don't know. I've never played it. I mean, I love Legend of Zelda. Everybody says it's like a uh, roguelike, origin like the original Legend of Zelda, like the dungeons and everything. I just I don't know. I never played it. But now that it's on the Switch and it has everything in it, Afterbirth Plus, it's supposed to have all these extra endings and characters and stuff. I will totally check it out. Number seven is Shovel Knight Specter of Torment. I love me some Shovel Knight. I have Shovel Knight on the Wii U, the PS4, and the 3DS, and I've like completed it all the way through. I love the game. It's probably the best indie game I've ever played. The best. And Specter of Torment is kind of like um, a DLC for it, and I'm very excited to play it. I think it's gonna be 25 bucks, which is weird because, um, the original game is 15 bucks, but I think they're gonna include the the original game with the DLC. I don't know. I'm, I'll still play it. I'll still pay it though. I'll be happy. Those guys are awesome. Yacht Club Games. They deserve they deserve all the money they can get. Number six is Goner. I think this is one a lot of people were excited about. I watched some videos of people, other people watching the showcase, and everyone said that they were excited for Goner. The art style is beautiful. I there's it's supposed to be super hard, which is pretty cool. I've been getting more into hard games lately. Um, but I don't know much about it other than that. It's supposed to be super hard, the art style is really cool, it's kind of like a 2D action platformer, I guess. We'll have to see more about it, uh, the more, you know, as time comes on, or goes on, whichever one you prefer time to go. Number five is Enter the Gungeon. Yes, Enter the Gungeon is confirmed. We don't know when, I hope it's in March, or at least, like, like at the latest April, because I really want to play that game. I'm not a big PC gamer, so I never got it on my PC, but I will be all over that shiz on the Nintendo Switch. Like, I can't wait. It, uh, oh, Nintendo, I, gone, me, uh, it broke my brain, my brain's broken. Number four is Rhyme. This game, I think, might have already been released on the PS4. Uh, I do not know. All I know is that it is also coming to the Switch. Pretty sure it comes out day one. I don't know. It looks like, it's like a cell shaded game. It looks like, um, the Last Guardian. It looks like, it looks like the Last Guardian. Number two, Yuka and Laylee. I cannot wait for Yuka and Laylee. If you've not played Banjo-Kazooie, you can pick up um, Rare Replay. If you don't have an Xbox One, but have an Xbox 360, they have it remastered. You just do it. And if you don't have those, if you have an A64, just pick it up. I mean, like, it might be like 40 bucks or something, but uh, I can I can lend you mine. <laughs> I'm not gonna lend you mine, that's stupid. And number one was a game I never heard of, but then when I watched it in the presentation, I was like, that that's awesome. Pocket Rumble. That's, that's the 2D fighting game. That is awesome. I mean, I love Mortal Kombat. I, Mortal Kombat X is one of my favorite games. Um, I've been trying to get more into some more fighting games, you know, like uh, Street Fighter and Tekken and stuff like that. It's really hard to get into because of all the, um, all the, you know, different moves and stuff you gotta learn. But Pocket Rumble looks awesome. There's only two buttons, so it can't be that hard to learn. Like, it, it seems very user-friendly, and I've always wanted to play a 16-bit uh, 2D, uh, two-person 2D fighter game because it, it looks like more user friendly. It looks awesome, and I am very, 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 very excited to play that game. Um, so that that's my top ten indie games that are coming to the Switch. I cannot wait to play these games. I hope you guys can't wait to play these games. Any indie games you guys are excited for? Put in the comments below what indie games for the Nintendo Switch you're excited for. It doesn't even have to be for the Nintendo Switch. Just like 
any indie games that are coming out this year. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel, The Toka Show, so you know whenever videos come out. Give that little bell a little ring-a-ding-ding-ding, -ding -ding, so then you will actually get the notifications. Alright guys, peace out.